The Egyptian cobra, scientifically known as Naja Haje, is one of the most well-known and venomous snakes in the world. It's native to parts of North Africa, the Middle East, and the Arabian Peninsula. Renowned for its distinctive hood, potent venom, and historical significance, this snake was often associated with royalty and protection in ancient Egypt. The Egyptian cobra is a large snake, typically reaching lengths between 6 to 8 feet, though some individuals can grow even larger, up to 10 feet. The body of the Egyptian cobra is generally a uniform light brown, olive or yellowish color. Some individuals may have darker markings or specks along the body. The underside is usually a pale cream or light brown. One of the most striking features of the Egyptian cobra is its hood, which it spreads when threatened. The hood is a characteristic feature of cobras, formed by elongated ribs behind the head. When the snake feels threatened, it flattens its neck and expands the hood to appear larger and more intimidating. The eyes of the Egyptian cobra are typically large with vertical slit-like pupils. The Egyptian cobra is found across North Africa, including Egypt, Sudan, and parts of Morocco, as well as the Middle East, like Saudi Arabia and Israel, and parts of the Arabian Peninsula. It prefers arid and semi-arid environments, including deserts, savannas, and grasslands. The Egyptian cobra is adaptable to a variety of habitats but tends to avoid dense forests. It can be found in rocky areas, wooded regions, and even near human settlements where it might seek shelter in abandoned buildings, holes in the ground, or under rocks. The Egyptian cobra has a neurotoxic venom which primarily affects the nervous system. The venom contains a mix of neurotoxins, cytotoxins, and enzymes that cause paralysis and tissue damage. The venom is extremely potent, and a single bite can be deadly if not treated immediately. Symptoms of envenomation typically begin with pain and swelling around the bite site, followed by nausea, vomiting, difficulty breathing, and paralysis. If untreated, the paralysis can spread to the respiratory muscles leading to asphyxiation and death. The snake's venom contains enough neurotoxins to cause death to multiple human beings in a single bite, but exact fatality rates depend on the location of the bite, the amount of venom injected, and how quickly medical treatment is administered. The Egyptian cobra is a carnivore and primarily feeds on small to medium-sized animals, including rodents such as rats and mice birds and bird eggs, other reptiles including smaller snakes and occasionally amphibians. Like many cobras, the Egyptian cobra is an ambush predator. It strikes quickly at its prey, delivering a venomous bite. After that it waits for the venom to incapacitate or kill the prey before consuming it. Egyptian cobras are generally shy, and prefer to avoid human contact. However, they can be aggressive when cornered or threatened. When they feel threatened, they often hiss loudly, raise and spread their hood, and make threatening postures to intimidate potential predators or threats. If the warning display doesn't work, the Egyptian cobra may strike with remarkable speed and precision. When agitated, it may strike multiple times, injecting venom into its target. Egyptian cobras are primarily diurnal, meaning they are active during the day, but they can also be active at night during certain times of the year. They may also be active during dawn and dusk, especially in cooler weather. Unlike some other snakes, the Egyptian cobra is capable of rapid movement and can slither quickly across the ground. It is also capable of climbing and will sometimes ascend trees or shrubs to hunt or escape danger. The Egyptian cobra mates in the spring after the winter cools down. Males engage in a form of combat dance where they rise up and wrestle with each other to establish dominance and win access to females. The female Egyptian cobra is oviparous, meaning she lays eggs. After mating the female lays a clutch of 15 to 30 eggs which she will guard diligently for a period of time. The eggs hatch after approximately 2 to 3 months. The hatchlings are independent from birth and are venomous. They typically measure around 12 to 18 inches, or 30 to 45 centimeters in length when they hatch. The Egyptian cobra is a symbol of royalty and protection. It was often depicted in ancient Egyptian art and mythology, notably on the headdresses of pharaohs, where the cobra represented the goddess Uraeus. The Uraeus was believed to protect the pharaoh and ward off enemies, with the cobra symbolizing both divine protection and the power of the ruler. In ancient Egyptian mythology, the goddess Wajit, represented by a cobra, was considered the protector of Lower Egypt and associated with royal power. 
The Egyptian cobra remains a significant cultural and historical symbol in Egypt, often appearing in modern Egyptian art, emblems, and literature. The Egyptian cobra is not currently considered endangered but like many reptiles it faces threats from habitat loss, human persecution, and poaching. Its venom has sometimes been used in traditional medicine or for creating venom-based products though this is less common today. It is generally widespread in its range and remains relatively common in many areas where it lives. However the exact population trend is difficult to assess due to the cobra's secretive and solitary nature.